Well, praise the Lord. It's been a minute, guys. Um, give everybody just a couple of minutes to get um, joined up here. And um, just wanted to bring you a quick word, a quick mo word of morning encouragement today. Um, have to apologize. We've been I've been out of pocket for the last wow. It's been probably about a week or so now. Um, we had the flu going around this place, and this stuff, this strain of flu, was particularly bad. I, I, you know, I hadn't been sick like this probably in 15 years. I believe God for healing. I believe God for divine life. And for whatever reason, this stuff came. Sometimes life happens. Um, myself, Prophetess Catherine, Apostle Barbara was sick, and um, but we went, we went through it. Amen. We conquered it. We defeated it. It's under our feet. We we continued to stay on the word, and um, it's it's it, it's been different, amen. And so, you know, we appreciate everyone who prayed for us. We had several people who brought us food, brought us, um, for lack of better terms, supplies such as Gatorade and Sprite and water. And um, we're just thankful for everyone who pitched in and gave us a hand and helped us out. Um, dealing with this. We're much better now. We've still got so many after effects, but praise God we're healed. God's word still works. You know, Acts 10.38 says that Jesus went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. Amen. I know the sickness did not come from God. It came from the enemy. He's under our feet, and God has done something great. He's healed us. He's delivered us, and so we're going to move on. Amen. Well, I got a quick word for you this morning. Um, as I was praying during my devotions, the Holy Spirit prompted something in my spirit, and I want to read this to you out of the Amplified Classic Version. Um, Hebrews chapter 10, the book of Hebrews chapter 10. If you have your Bible with you, go ahead and turn to it. It's going to be, we're going to go to one verse, verse 35. Um, and I just want to speak this word to you very quickly, and um, this be a blessing to you um, today. And... Um, also, want to make sure we invite you guys to our services on Sunday at one at um 501 Highway 190, the Clarion Inns and Suites in Covington. Um, we meet for 11 o'clock, and um, God moves powerful in our praise and worship service, and we teach the Word. And then we have a time of ministry at the altar. Amen. So if you're bound, if you're sick, if you need deliverance, if you need a touch from God. You need to be with us on Sunday. Amen. Go to our website, www.whimofla.com, for more information on service times and um, the information, or you can check us out on our Facebook page. Amen. Well, the book of Hebrews, out of the Amplified Classic Version, verse 35, chapter 10, verse 35, and it says this. It says, do not therefore fling away, and if you can highlight that word fling or underline it in your Bible, do so, fling away your fearless confidence. I like that. For it carries a great and glorious compensation of reward. You know, sometimes we, 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 we begin to believe God, we step out in faith, we step out on the Word of God, and then what happens is, is that as we go along, we, 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 we forget that the enemy always comes. The Bible tells us in the book of Mark chapter 4, the enemy always comes to take away and to steal the word that has been sown in our hearts. See, we need to understand something. We're sowers. We're not just sowers of time. We're not just sowers of finances. But we're sowers of the word. Amen. That's what the scripture calls us in the book of Mark 4. Okay. We go out and we sow the word. We plant the word into different situations. We plant the word in, 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 into, different, in, into different areas of our life. And we need to understand that the enemy always comes. The Bible tells us in the book of John that, the enemy, that, that Satan comes to do what? We always say kill, steal, and destroy. That's not what the scripture says. The scripture says that he comes to steal, to kill. And to destroy. Why is, he, why is that order important? That order is important it's be, because if he can't steal the word from you, then he can't destroy things in your life. If he can't steal the word from you, then he can't kill you. If he can't steal the word from you, then he can't stop what God is doing in your life and using you to do in the lives of others. The enemy always comes first to steal. The battle is not about you. 
the battle is always about the word that God has sown into your life, whether it's the written word that we read or it's the rhema word that he speaks to us out of the written word. The enemy always comes to steal the word. So that's why the scripture says here in the book of, in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35, he says, do not therefore fling away. Now, when you hear that word fling, what do you think about? You know, when you hear somebody talk about pitching a baseball, then that's that it, it gives the inference of the pitcher is zeroed in on the catcher's mitt and he pitches it to a certain place. When the quarterback throws the football, OK, normally he throws to a certain receiver or a certain person who's supposed to receive the ball. But, you know, when he gets under pressure, watch this, when he gets under pressure, a lot of times he'll just take that ball and he'll just throw it in the general area and so, so that he doesn't get tackled for a loss with the football. So what is he doing? He's flinging it away. OK, it's not necessarily going to any particular place. He's just flinging it away so he doesn't get trapped and he doesn't get beat with, with, by by and doesn't get tackled for, for a loss, thus hindering them from scoring in the game. OK, and a lot of times what happens is, is that has we walk forth in the word and we walk forth in faith and we walk forth in what we believe God is calling us to do. The pressure comes, the trial comes. The temptation comes, and what happens? We just kind of, oh, well, I, I just can't deal with this, and we fling away the word that's been spoken to us. And my brother, my sister, when you fling away the word that's been sown into your life that God has planted into you, then you're planting, you're throwing away your fearless confidence, okay? Because where faith comes, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, okay? By the word of God, the Bible says, OK, and so as we stand on the word, it builds up confidence in us. It builds up fearlessness in us. But if we don't withstand the test, if we don't withstand the trial, if we don't withstand the temptation, OK, then we fling that confidence away and we, we and, 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 and it's it derails what God is doing in our life. Amen. I'm so glad the scripture tells me that I. I that when temptation comes, that he's made a way of escape from me, for me, okay? I'm so glad that the scripture tells me that the word of God never fails. I'm so glad that the scripture tells me that he's a rock that I can stay connected to. I'm so glad that the scripture tells me that he's the vine, I'm the branch, and in him I have life, amen? I'm so glad that the scripture tells me today that I can stand on his word. I can declare his word. I can decree his word in my life, and it will come to pass. Look what, the, 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 look what verse 36 says. It says, for you have need of steadfast patience and endurance. Can I tell you something today? Know this. Know that your father loves you. Know that the father who wrote the word, that spoke the word to you, that sowed the word into your life, loves you, and he's not going to let you fail. He's not going to let his word fail. He's not going to let what he purposes in your life fail. The book, the, the book of Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us what? He says that I know the plans I have for you, and they're plans of good and not evil. Can I tell you something in my closing? God's word means good to you. Now, God's word changes us. OK, a lot of times we pray for the circumstances around us to change when God is actually sending his word to us to change us so that we can affect the circumstances around us. Amen. But I want to challenge you today. Don't fling away. Don't just cast it away. Don't cast away that word that you received. Don't cast away that prayer you've been praying. Don't cast away what God is doing in your life and he, you're, you're making progress. Stop looking from the inside. Stop looking from the outside in and begin to look from the inside out because inside of you, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Inside of you, you have an anointing that abides in you. Inside of you, you have a word that God has planted and it's beginning to grow and it's increasing daily. Amen. I want to challenge you. Don't cast away your confidence in the word of God. Don't cast away your confidence in your father who loves you. Don't throw it away. Don't just fling it away and treat it haphazardly. Because God has something great planned for you. If you just stay the course, stay on his word, and believe that he loves you, 
and believe what he says to you and watch it come to pass in your life. Amen. Well, I hope that's been a blessing to you today. I challenge you to do a couple of things for me. Go ahead and share this video on your timeline if you would. And if God leads you, be with us on Sunday at, at um, 501 Highway 190 to Clarion Hotels Inns and Suites in Covington. We meet for 11 a.m. We have a time of prayer, praise, worship, teaching of the word, altar ministry, and we are seeing God deliver and set people free. Amen. Go to our website, www.whimoffla. Send us your prayer requests, and if God leads you, plant some seed into this ministry. Amen. I also want to let you know that if you like what you hear and if you, if you like this type of teaching, if you'll contact us, we're available to come and minister at your home group, at your cell group, at your church, at your conference. Amen. We, we, we want to do whatever God has for us to get the word out. And we want to be a blessing to the body of Christ. We love you guys. We're praying for you. Keep us in prayer. And we will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day and see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.